Hey guys, here I have a 2002, I believe. I don't know what year it is. It's a 2002 Patton U2 14A7 from the Holmes buyout group. So this is not the actual Patton, but the quality on it is still there. And then on my right, I have a 1995 Patton U220CW with a 50th year anniversary. I had been wanting to do a comparison video with these two fans for quite a while, but I just hadn't got the chance because the last two days it's been pretty cold and raining. And right now it's like 77 right now, not too bad. A little bit cooler than the other day when I made the video of this fan with other comparison videos. So, yeah, so I decide to get the show on the road. So, yeah, so this is the Holmes buyout. I've lost C and it's been out since 1945 and this fan has the clips unlike you know the original patents from the 1980s to 90s this one has the clips so from the home spy out and then this one has like hooks holding into the fan for that one and then it's got the 50 year 50th year anniversary from 1945 to 1955 and then they stopped making these two models in 2008 I believe was when they started making the cheap plastic ones are a piece of crap but still pretty good but obviously not as good as the old ones so it's got blue blades and this fan's in pretty good condition a little minor rust but still pretty good condition and this one is basically just flawless i mean a little bit dirty but very shiny so i'll show you the fan and then this one um this was before the industrial models came out. It didn't have the cord holders, so obviously it's got the cords on the floor. And it's got a three-pronged plug, so the cord's in really good shape. So, and then it's got a 2.7 amp McMillan motor, blue motor, not bad. And then the panel's black, unlike most of them, for the blue patents would be blue. And this is rare to find, so it's black. And then it's got the original knob, three-speed fan, off, high, medium, and low. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this fan was manufactured in January of 1995 on their 50th anniversary date. And then here's the 14A7. Um, three speed fan as well, off, high, medium, and low. And then this one has the cord holders, which is nice. So yeah, so let me um, untie this. And the cord is pretty much looking the same. And yeah, the cord's in pretty good shape. And then here's the three-prong plug. It's also in good condition, so. So yeah, uh, let me plug in both fans in real quick. And I'm going to take my jacket off too, because I'm actually starting to sweat now. It was a little bit cold, but I'm starting to warm up, so. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Alright, now, so, what I'm going to do, like always, um, I'm going to start the 14A7 up first, and then the U220, and then I'll start them both up, so, yeah, so here goes the 14A7 starting up from high, so here it goes. In high speed, it's really not bad on high, not too loud, not bad, it does blow pretty good air, the quality on the quiet models... They're just still there, like they're, they were just as good as the original ones, like that one, for example. So, I'll have a little air to the camera. And it's starting to move a little bit, but, yeah, there's nothing I can do. This fan does the vibrate quite a lot. So, you just move it. So, I set it down to medium. Medium's not bad at all either. Sorry, let me move it again a little bit. There. But yeah, not bad. Medium is pretty quiet. Actually, it does blow a pretty good breeze on it. I'm actually glad it's blowing right now. So I'm starting to be hot now. Let me set it down to low. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, the motor on this fan is a 1.5 McMillan motor, 
So they, they still use the McMillan motor for the home spot models, just like the original ones, but obviously, yeah, 1.5 amp, and it pulls as much of what it's rated, which kind of concerns me, but these fans are in good condition anyway, so I don't have any fear on it, really. Pretty quiet on low, though. And then that's what the motor looks like, I forgot to mention. And then I think this is, I don't know what year it is exactly, but I think it's a 2002. But yeah. And then that's what it looks like in the back. I'll set it up to medium again. And we'll go up to high. Now it seems to be still now stable, which is good. Very still now, but obviously vibrating, but not dancing now. So. Alright, we'll turn it off. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Um, now to start up the Patton U220 uh, CW with the 50th year anniversary badge. So here it goes. This fan blows a lot more air than this one, and that's just because it's bigger. And it's a lot louder, so now I'm going to the camera. We have it blows really good air. Not bad at all. Alright, we'll go down to medium. Very stable and very um balanced fan. Medium is not really too much different from high, and yeah, it's not bad, but it blows a really good amount of air, as you can see. Alright, we'll go down to low. And low, even on low, it's, it's low is not too bad, I mean, even then the fan is so loud, but it does blow a good amount of air so it's worth it but not bad i mean what's on low not bad at all and then here's what it looks like on low so, yeah we'll go up to medium and then there yeah we'll go up to high But yeah, I'm like that one. That one's a lot more stable and definitely more balanced. Which is something that has to do with the condition, obviously, but nothing I can do about that. And the spin down on this fan is quite a lot longer than this one, too. But I'm going to wait for it to stop completely, and then I'll start them both up. So, just wait a minute. Almost done. Almost there, come on. But yeah, it, again, it's not it's not bad at all. Alright, so now we'll start the 14A7 up first. So here it goes. This time it seems to be a lot more stable now. Well dance now. Alright, now we'll start up the U220. Put this one down to medium. Alright, we'll put 
this one down below. Bit. When this is on high, it seems to be like a tiny bit louder than this when that's on low. But yeah, it's not bad. I will put this one back up to medium. Now this is a, a little bit louder now. Yeah, we'll put it up to high now too. Obviously today the U220 CW is definitely a lot louder and definitely blows more air and then the spin down on is way longer too but when this is on low the U220 is on low and the 14 ASM is on high I feel like the 14 ASM may be a tiny bit louder but then when it, this is on medium and then that's on low the U220 seems to be just a little bit louder too or if this or if the U2 14 ASM is on medium, then the U220 is on low. It the U220 is still a little bit louder. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison. I will have more comparison videos with the U220 very soon. In the meantime, be sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later.